Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Shepard from Shepard Chiropractic. And a very common injury that I see in my office is a stress fracture or fracture of the back called a spondylolysis. Now, spondylolysis means that you can have this injury from being uh, developmental or what they call born with. Okay? You can have a stress fracture, you can have a acute or traumatic injury, or what they call degenerative. Now, let's explain a, a couple of the different differences between the two. What I see is typically between five and eight percent of the population will have this spondylolysis or stress fracture in the back. It's usually in the lower area or the lumbar area, usually at the fifth backbone or the fourth backbone. So this is the little model of that stress fracture or spondylolysis as we call it. Now, this is the disc. Okay, this is the pars articularis, where the magnet is we see, okay? This is the spinous process. These are the back joints, and this is the lumbar vertebra, okay? What happens is, this is the spinal cord here, and the walls that protects the spinal cord, what it does, it separates or fractures. This is what they call a spondylolysis. So there's, a, there's another term called spondylolisthesis. Spondylolisthesis is the movement forward of the vertebra and the spinous process. So this is what they call a spondylolisthesis. And they grade it in four grades, one through four, with four being the worst. This spondylolysis or spondylolisthesis Okay, occur between five and eight percent of the population. Now, it can be in an older person, it can be someone who's born with it, or it can be in a young athlete. Now, what chiropractic does, it's not that we fuse it back together, but what we do is we try to stabilize the vertebra above it and below it and try to create less pressure on those nerves by chiropractic adjustments, exercises, and change in general habits. So, thank you very much for listening. Dr. Joe.